The link and unlink buttons are useful for linking text. The content editor will automatically link web addresses and emails that are in the text box, so there is no need to use the link button on them. To add a link to text, highlight the text and click on the link button. A dialog box pops up and you'll need to enter your URL into the dialog box. Click OK and the text should be linked. To link to a page on your own website, follow the same instructions as before. Before clicking OK in the dialog box to save the link, we are going to change the protocol. Change the protocol to Other. Then remove the base URL of your website. You'll leave the trailing slash and the actual page URL. Click OK. Doing this prevents broken links on your website. To unlink text in a page, highlight the text and select the unlink button. You should always unlink text and relink it when changing the URL. Linking to an ISU Extension and Outreach Store publication requires a permanent link. You should never download a store publication and upload it to your own website. You can find the permanent link by going to the publication page and the permanent link will be located just under the like and share for Facebook buttons. Use the permanent link for the publication instead of the URL so that the link will not break. If you link text, do not link non-descriptive text like click here or read more. Make sure the words that you link describe what the link is for and where it is taking you. This is a web accessibility consideration.